Um, but actually, the, the, so the first version I used was LabVIEW 3 uh, for Windows. But I mentioned I worked at a science laboratory uh, during my degree. And when I went back there, they'd actually moved to um, Macintosh. So they'd actually moved away from Windows, and they were using Macintosh. So at the time, they were using uh, LabVIEW 2 um, for Mac. Oh. Um, and I, the, the one thing I do remember about that was that you couldn't move anything. So once you <laughs> built your LabVIEW block diagram, if you needed to move something, you couldn't. The only thing you could do was delete it and start again. Oh, wow. So, so you can imagine if you kind of <laughs> ran out of space or you weren't very efficient in, in how you designed your LabVIEW application, you'd end up having to delete it and then recreate it rather wow. than being able to resize objects or being able to move objects on the block diagram. Wow, goodness um, me. Yeah, it was, uh, but again, uh, what I do remember is being really productive with it, even back then, being able to control instruments, being able to acquire mm -hmm. acquire measurements and present them to the user in a graphical mm -hmm. format. Um, mm -hmm. And, and it, it, even then, it just seemed far, far more advanced than writing text programming. Um,